All right, just a big beaker of, of water. Um, we have about 3,500 grams of water in there. And that is about 3,500 milliliters. Thinking even the sophomores could reduce this fraction. I found the density of water. I take its mass, the mass of the water in there divided by its volume. We would get the density of water is about one gram per milliliter. Turns out that anything with a density greater than one gram per milliliter is, will sink in water. Anything with a density less than one gram per milliliter will float. So tell me something about the density of a typical piece of wood. It's, it's what? It, 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 tell, okay, so tell me something about its density. It's less than one. A typical piece of uh, lead. Greater density, greater than one. Well, I have two pot cans here. Their volumes are identical. Uh, what's the volume here? 355 milliliters. Um, will the pop can and its contents have a density greater than water or less than water? Less? Okay. Both. You got to pick one. Greater than, so the pop can will sink in water. So let's try the coke. By the way, soda pop is almost all water, isn't it? So the density of the liquid in here, the water part, you're guessing is probably at least one gram per mil. But it's also made of aluminum, and aluminum's density is about 2.7 grams per mil. So you would think the combination of the two would be greater than one. So let's see what happens. Why would it flow? Carbonation. Actually, when you shake it, is this filled to the very tippy tippy top of water or liquid? No. Isn't there an air bubble in there? Air doesn't have a very big mass, so do you think that would drop the density a little bit? So the combination of the aluminum, the liquid in there, and that air bubble gives me a density a little bit less than one. Is that true for all soda pops? No. Try uh, regular Coke. And you're right, it sinks. What's the difference between regular Coke and Diet Coke? Sugar. Caffeine. Caffeine. I would imagine the same amount of caffeine. You can't say diet, so it must be lighter. <laughs> You're a little bit more creative than that. A little sugar. Yeah, the amount of sugar that's in there. So if I have a cup full of water, and I go ahead and dump in eight tablespoons of sugar, what's going to happen to the mass of that liquid? It's going to increase. So what happens to the density of that liquid? It increases. If I just put a little bit of NutraSweet in that same cup full of water, well, yeah, the mass will go up a little bit, but as much as the one that I put eight tablespoons of sugar in? Probably not. So the Diet Coke will float because it's, the density of the liquid is, is going to be less than the density of the liquid in my Coca-Cola. Okay? That'll work with everything.